The best method to control large system architecture is using legends. Those legends can be automatically generated or manually created and today we'll show how to do it. This is a revolutionary way because uh, in most cases your system is complex. That's why you apply system engineering and your system architecture, even logical, will be large and multi-aspect based. So in this case we see e-VTOL, electrical vertical takeoff vehicle system architecture which consists of different type of connectors uh, high voltage power interfaces low voltage power interfaces thermal uh, hvac interfaces and communication control interfaces that's very common type of interfaces to have uh, in your systems and now you see that actually we want to have single view to maintain the consistency but at the same time we want to be able to explain to different roles uh, the behavior of the system and to understand how it works and the way to do it again with automatically or manually extracted legends is to filter and you see now you can actually save or, or just dynamically apply and filter to the high voltage power interfaces and then you see that okay motors are connected uh, through inverters to the pack battery pack right uh, and what kind of voltage it flows here right everything we can see and then we can decide okay i want also communication signals okay that's the communication signals which controls that behavior right and then i say okay instead high voltage i want low voltage now okay that's where we see low voltage okay and then maybe okay instead low voltage and uh, uh, i just want thermal okay is the thermal one and then remove this remove this and remove this just the thermal connections And you can apply that uh, those legends once they are created here. We can actually uh, have them in containment tree, select in containment tree. Here we see those legends. And we can drag them into any diagram and based on the inter queries uh, behind the legends, they will be applied. And those diagrams you see here now can be filtered based on the same legends. So I can filter to, you know, let's say, like just low voltage here in another view of the system. So this, why it's revolutionary? Because now I can have a large diagram. I can create actual representation of the whole system. At the same time, I'm communicating. I don't need to show all or nothing. I can just dynamically switch off. And uh, now how that is created. So let's do that from scratch. So create, a, for example, block diagram, right? Uh, we have uh, system. We have uh, uh, part uh, A and uh, uh, part B, part B, and we have interfaces. Uh, and let's say that I, those interfaces will be here, like communication and uh, interface another one power interface, right? And then I have, uh, let's say, one more part C, right? And then uh, now I'm creating internal block diagram here with all those parts. And then I'm creating um, a port here. So let's say this port and then a communication interface here for this one. So again, the port. And now I don't need to create that. Uh, it, I can just say reuse and then uh, reuse like that. And then here I will have another one uh, will be power interface, power interface. And then again, I will reuse this interface you see here. Now the legends are automatically extracted. Here we can click here, create legends or extract legends, extract legends. I can choose based on type, based on the you see part type or based on interface type here extract i got that you see color coded those legends are reusable because they're in containment tree i can draw drag them to any other model and then i can actually filter just to see that or just to see that interface 
that's it, you know. But actually, there is more about that. What if I want, uh, I can delete those. What if I want now to communicate uh, system architecture through the use cases? What use case uh, is used? What part of the system is used for what use case? And that you can do with legends too. So create legends. Um, just create, not extract, create legends and say use cases case right and then one will be like a charge and then adornment will be uh, will be red and another one will be control control and adornment will be yeah let's say green so you see what I have now, two use cases, and I can apply, okay, those two things uh, with those ports uh, are used and this connector are used for this interface. Uh, legends, legend item and charge, no, control. And then uh, this one with this and this and this and this, are used for legend item charge not control now you see like I can say okay show me that or show me this and you can decide you know do you want to actually apply legends on those or just interfaces for example because you might not want that visually representation of the whole thing or you may decide that a dormant would be like a Instead of uh, color, you know, you can decide, okay, I don't want that uh, color. Uh, I want actually preset, okay, and I, none. And then I want pen color, uh, which would be like here, yeah, red, and then uh, line size two. And uh, I want uh, here, this one uh, would be, again, none, two, pen color would be green, uh, like that. So you can decide to do this, and that's pretty much also uh, less, less intrusive and uh, uh, still shows what you want to achieve, you know, from use case perspective. Now it's not from interfaces, but like which part of the system participate in what use cases. So thank you for for looking at this. And this is uh, revolutionary because it was never before available and only with the filtering by the legends, which is available for a couple of versions already it is possible to maintain large architectures at the same time communicate and that's itself give the enormous value of the model uh, which is uh, hard to achieve with any other means uh, not with powerpoint not with any other drawings and um, this is the value to have the right tools to communicate your system architecture